Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Very well. Very well. Glad to hear that. Hey, Andres. What's up? Hi, teacher. What happened to you yesterday? I feel a little sick. Really? With flu and cough. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. All this okay. week. All this week whole, whole week you have been feeling sick. Yes. Mm. Have you gone to the doctor? Mm, no, I only take pills. I have only taken pills. I've I have only taken only pills. pills. Okay. Good, good. Let's just wait a little bit for your classmates. When... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. We are 12, well, 11. Where are the others? Don't forget to put your full name and turn on your camera. We're almost ready. Okay, so I think we're ready. Let me do the attendance. Uh, we'll wait for the others. It is 8.03 already. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Yeah. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susana Cuera Albanés. Present. Yuri, I'm sorry, Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, was there any homework? Sure. I'm Jose Salas. I'm connecting late. Jose Alberto. Teacher, present. 
Sorry. I, I didn't okay. notice that the hour. <laughs> okay, it's okay. The time. Didn't notice the time. Okay, no other problem. Sorry. Thank you, guys. Uh, Thank you, guys. I'm we already. Are... I'm going to connect with the computer, so that's why I didn't turn on the camera. Okay, no other problem. So, what was the last thing we talked about yesterday, guys? Report speech. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no questions. Okay. Okay, can you give me an example? Teacher wanted to know if <laughs> if we learn something about topic yesterday. Oh, so that's my question. Topic. Uh, okay. Do you remember yesterday's topic? The teacher wanted to know if we remembered yesterday's topic. Okay, good. That's right. Okay. Will we go on vacation soon? The teacher asked, "Is we are going to go in vacation? Is we will will go on vacation soon?" Uh huh. If we will go on vacation soon, if you have will, you say would. This, by the one for the ones that were not here yesterday, is this exercise four on page twenty. This was exercise four on page twenty on your workbook. Okay, guys, please turn on your camera as I see nine students without camera on. Remember, that's one of the requirements, especially when we do the attendance. Okay, next. Um, okay, were you sick yesterday, Andres? Somebody move that sentence to reported speech. Were you sick yesterday, Andres? The teacher wanted to know if Andres was it yesterday. Mm. If Andres had been sick yesterday. Uh -huh. Remember, if it is simple, okay, if it is simple present, you answered with simple past. If it is, uh, let me see if I remember, future, you use would, right? If it is future with will, do you uh, you use future with, and uh, you use would, you use the model. If it is simple past, you use past perfect. Yeah, that's it. Even though I didn't say them. Oh, oh, well, hold on. What am I missing? No, that's it. It's just three, right? So simple present, simple past, simple past, past perfect. If you use future with will, you use would. Okay, so what I want you to do to remember this topic, go to page 20, look at the chart, study with your classmates the way we're doing. Um, just make a question in general, make a question to everybody, whether it is in simple present, using will, or in simple past. So your classmates can transform your question. Remember, it has to be a yes, no question. So if it is simple present, it has to start with the verb to be in present, or with do or does, right? Okay, that's close questions. If it is will, if it is future, we'll start with will. If it is past, it can start with did or was where. So try to challenge your classmates. At least each one of you should do three, five questions, you know, and your classmates should transform this close question, this yes, no question to reported speech. Okay, follow the, the grammar on page 20. On page 20, you have the indications. Any questions? No, okay. Okay, let's go. T -shirt, t -shirt, hey. I'm here. Yep, good, thank you. I'll take you, the, the, your attendance. Yeah, I mentioned you before, don't worry. Just don't I go. Have I have problem with my router, so I spend five minutes trying to to 
uh, to doing works. Uh, my computer was updating. Man. Ah. It finished three minutes before the class. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Rika, how are you? I understood we have to make some questions. I think yes. Okay. Mm. The first one for Alexander. Alexander, do you do you work? Do you work today? Um me. Yes, I think you have to transform to uh in a yeah. wait. I think you use simple yeah. pass, right? You said did you work today? Okay. Yeah. Um how can I say? Do you want no? You want to know you wanted to know if I if I, if I have been worked today, I've been working. Mm. I have been work. If I, I have worked, worked. worked today. Yeah. Okay, I'm not here. Yeah. Just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna hear you. I, I don't want to interrupt you. Correct between yourself. Correct yourselves. Go ahead. Okay. I think the the correct answer answer is Erica. As if you worked today. Yeah. Do you work today? Maybe another option is Erica asked if I had worked today. Yes. Mm, mm, no, actually, because you ask me in past simple simple pass i cannot answer in the same tense grammatical grammatic tense yes and my answer was in past perfect yeah hard yeah. worked right yes yeah oh yes okay okay, um, okay. Why do you no? What did you buy last week? What? Alexander wanted to know what I did. No. What did I buy last week? Past perfect. Okay. Repeat your question, please. What did you buy it last week? What? Okay, did you, you use with did? Okay, Alexander wanted to know what. Have... Is there a special discount for this product? <clears throat> so for the speech, the customer asked <clears throat> what there was. There was a special discount for. The product. Uh, what is a face? Twenty. Twenty. Face twenty. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. <clears throat> Twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. Customer is uh, um, in the in the room is uh, practice uh, writing writing example uh, example of the the. Okay, basically, mm -hmm. this is what I want you to do. 
um, Francisco, did you work today? And now Francisco has to re, re, paraphrase, paraphrase the question um, using reported speech. So did you work today, Francisco? Yes, I work. Mm. What is no. the reported speech? The teacher wanted the teacher, to know. The teacher asked. Asked. Uh -huh. if, if I worked too late. If I had worked. Help. Mm -hmm. Work too late. Oh, okay. Remember, simple past, um, past perfect. Future, would. Simple present, simple past. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto. Does Amos like coffee? Does Amos like coffee? Mm -hmm. Simple past. Mm -hmm. Amos likes like coffee. Mm -hmm. And again, and again, the teacher asked me. The teacher asked me mm -hmm. the coffee. The teacher asked me if. I asked me is uh, coffee. If asked, Amos. Amos. Ah, Amos. Perdón, Amos. Amos. Ah, sorry. Like. Yes. Like. Like, like, like the coffee. coffee. Like coffee. Like coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, Sandra. Make a close question. Simple present, future with will, mm -hmm. or simple past to Edwin. I'm not here. You have to correct yourselves too. Okay. Ask me a question, Sandra. I, uh, sorry, please. Uh, one moment, please. Uh, Roberto by Roberto uh, by car. Does Roberto does Roberto buy cars? Car. It's, For a, me? it's a close question, remember. So you always start with the auxiliary uh, of, of the grammar okay. tense, remember. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, does Roberto buy a car, you say, right? A car. Mm -hmm. So the answer would be uh, Sandra want to know if Roberto bought a card? For her. For mm -hmm. her. Like that, right? Uh, and we use uh, the, the, the verb in past, but because by a boat, no? The, okay, Sandra wanted to know if Roberto bought a car for her. Bought a car for her, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, do more examples. Uh, use will, use oh. something else. Look at the chart on page 20, exercise four. Okay, Francisco. Uh, yes, Alvin. Will Ed will aim is is one so <laughs> or he asked me. No, it's okay. My neighbor asked me how many mm -hmm. children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had. I had. But is, is my homework is wrong, teacher? The answer is wrong on the platform? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know why they want to use such a specific. They they want such a specific mm -hmm. a specific answer. answers. Yeah. Like I without the the period. That is in the point at the end. Yes. Yes. Did you do it? Yeah. I rewrite uh, without mm. Mm. without that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is the same? Right. Okay, the exact answer, yeah, is he asked me if I lived with my family, he asked me, he asked me, he asked me. Everything is he asked he me. Has... Oh. I'm going to rewrite my new neighbor. Okay. He asked me how many. Mm -hmm. How many children I have? You know what? That. Is that exercise 2.2? No, right? No. So weird. Yes. What number is it? Can you move up? Doris, scroll oh. up, scroll up, move up. Let me see what exercise number is it? You have video conference number nine. Number nine. Yeah, number that's 2.5. Oh, okay, okay. My neighbor asked me how many children I had. No period, no question marks. Let's see. Erase that. My neighbor asked without me. capital. It's okay. My neighbor asked me how many children I had. Yeah. Period. No period. No period. Sure, maybe, there you go. There you go. Maybe it's half. Go, go ahead and submit with the it. B, with the B and the E? No, that's the way. That's the right answer. What? Uh huh. <laughs> Teacher, look, look this. <laughs> My neighbor asked me how many children I had. Mm -hmm. My neighbor. Or he asked me. No, no, no. That's the answer. My name. Oh, my new neighbor. My new neighbor. Yeah, on the top is yes. my new neighbor, yes. guys. Oh my god. Yeah, my new neighbor. Uh, yeah. Yes. All, all of them. You should start the the sentence with my new neighbor. Ask mm. me. My new neighbor. Ask. Yes. Okay, where do you work? My neighbor, my new neighbor asked me, when did you move to this city? My new neighbor asked when I had moved. I'm gonna stop the class and check these answers. Although it should be easy, I mean. Where I? My neighbor asked me, where, where I, where did I? No, where I work, worked. Where I worked, I'm sorry, yes, where I worked, where I worked. No, no period. There you go. What? 
Check, check, check. Ah, but my new neighbor. Me. Mm -hmm. Me, where? I, the capital. Where do I, where do I work? What capital? I. Where do I work? Mm, no, where I work. Where I work. Mm. Mm. That's the answer. My new neighbor asked me where I worked. Oh my God, there's a period at the end on the platform. Sorry, guys. Oh, this a period. Yeah, on the next one, on number three, there are two periods. And again, my new neighbor asked when I had moved to the city, to the city. My new neighbor. With mm him. -hmm. Hey. My new neighbor want, wanted to know. No, no, no. It's on your chat, on your WhatsApp. When I have, I have moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Working is on the platform. Let me check mm -hmm. one more group and we will go back. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay, the point of this exercise of being in groups was to make uh, closed questions. For example, you could have said the name of a classmate like Irene, um, will you work on Saturday? Yeah, I'm going to use reporter speech. Reported speech. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm asking you, will you work on Saturday? Um, the teacher, uh, talking about reported speech, the teacher, the teacher asked if, uh, the teacher asked if I will go to work mm, on I will, Saturday? I will work. On Saturday. I will yeah. work on Saturday. That's right. The teacher asked me uh -huh, if I will work on Saturday. If I will work. That's right. Okay. Make another question, Irene, to someone else. Hey, William. We'll, we'll do exercise next week. Will you exercise this next week? Will you, okay. Irene inquire if um, I would exercise. If I will week. exercise next week. That's it, simple. Continue, William, use something else. You can use simple present or simple past. Why are you just so quiet? What's going on? Hello, hello. 
Well, no, 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 that's an, open, that's an open question. Hey, what's up, Irwin? Um, is it cold in Santa Tecla, Fernando? Uh, I don't live in Santa Tecla, but <laughs> I, I understand the, the exercise. Uh, it is called in Santa Tecla. Uh, the teacher asked me it is if was if uh, is was cold in Santa Tecla. The teacher asked me if it was cold in Santa Tecla. Okay, so you already made some questions to your classmates, some close questions, and they moved the sentence to reported speech, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see, Irwin, did you work yesterday? My teacher asked me if I have worked yesterday. Is this correct, teacher? You got it. So simple, you got it, very good. Okay, let's go back then. Okay, we're back. Um, look, try to repeat answer, just the way it sounds. Don't say answer, answers, mm -mm. answer, answer. I'm gonna write it for you. Answer, answer. Yeah. So answer. simple. So instead answer. of answer, I want you to say answer. Simple answer. like that, answer. Answer. That's it. Look at the chat. Answer, answer me. Answer. Oh. What's the answer? answer? Okay. I would like to know it. What? <laughs> the answer. The answer. Of the light. Okay, okay, okay. So, hmm. Teacher, hey, can you help us with something? Jarvin wanted to know if I could help him with something. Yes. Yes, Jarvin. Uh, you can give it to us uh, examples in negative form. In negative and, form. Yes. And okay. What what is an what is not a yes or not question? Oh, good. Well, making a negative question could be a yes, no question. Did you eat today? Well, hold on. Did you have, did you have lunch? No, did you have dinner tonight? Jarvin, did, did you have, okay. Didn't you have dinner? Didn't you have dinner already? Didn't you have dinner already? The answer would be yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? Didn't you have dinner already? Okay. The teacher wanted to know if I hadn't had dinner already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just moved to the negative, the auxiliary. You got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another example. Won't you go to the party tomorrow? Everybody? Won't you go to the party tomorrow? I wanted to know if we wouldn't go to the party tomorrow. But if you think when I I listen well, when sorry, when you go to the party tomorrow, you may no, know, right? No, won't. No, won't. Ah, okay, got Remember, it. Thank uh -huh. you. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. My mistake. Like, no, and you know what? <laughs> this is very used by by Americans. Won't. Ah, okay, you use in in. Uh -huh. They, 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 they're very rhetoric sometimes, you know. Aren't you human? Uh, okay, I know I got it correctly, but I listened before. 
Yeah, everybody. Aren't you human? No, you I are? am not. <laughs> are Move you? it. Uh huh. What would be the, the reported speech? Aren't you human? And then she yeah. asked me, and then she asked me if I wasn't human. And then she asked me if I wasn't human. This is purely reported speech. Yesterday, a woman called. First, she asked me if I wasn't human. And then she wanted to know um, the prices of the products, you know. Um, later, she had been requesting for a supervisor uh, for about five minutes. And I told her, no, there was no supervisor available. After that, she got mad and she asked me, where was I located? All of that is reported speech and reporting what happened on the conversation. And this could be a true story. <laughs> yeah, you see? So I had to transfer her to my supervisor. I couldn't do anything for her. You see, it's very useful, but you even use it and you don't notice. And that's the way you should do it, okay? Yeah, questions? <laughs> it would be a good idea if you check this video and try to move what I just said on reported speech, get the questions, you know, in the closed questions, the yes, no questions. Okay, that will be a good exercise. Yesterday we um, gave, we made some examples. We made some examples, but I'm gonna do something before we, um, well, I send you the answers. Um, exercise, exercise 2.5, the very last part, homework number nine has some issues. You know, there's a period, there are two periods. And all the time you need to say, my new neighbor asked. Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's just when. Okay, so I just send you the answers because it's too complicated for you to be guessing, right? So that's, again, no. 2.5 exercise nine or homework nine. Okay, yesterday we had something pending, which was the... Uh, the yes, no questions on your workbook. Did you finish this? Which ones we didn't do? I think number four, five, and six. Four, five, and six, yes, okay. Is the bottom shelf wide enough to hold a printer? Someone who doesn't talk in the class very often. Suleyma, you're very quiet lately. What's going on? Nothing, teacher. So I'm tired because today was a very hard day. Okay. I'll take that. So tell me, is the bottom shelf wide enough to hold a printer? Let me help you. Mm. Maybe um, teacher asked. Mm -hmm. It's the customer in these mm -hmm. examples. Is the bottom shelf wide enough to hold a printer? So oh, the customer asked. Okay. Is the bottom shelf, what is wide? I don't know. The bottom shelf was wide enough. Excellent. Wide. Wide enough to hold a printer. Thick is a synonym for thick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the bottom shelf was wide enough. 
Okay, so you moved the verb to be to past because it was a question in present. Okay, next, do you have, I'm sorry, do you charge extra fees for shipping? Do you charge, Freddy's? do you charge extra fees for shipping? Wait a second, wait a second. Kind of confused right now. Okay. Okay, the customer wanted wanted to know. Mm -hmm. If are charged. If we. Mm -hmm. Well, why we if it says do you? I think, problem. well, as a customer, uh, I guess you're referring to the company itself, right? Unless definitely, yes, you can say if I, because, yeah, because you, that's you, you could problem. be an interpreter, you could be an interpreter, totally. Yeah. If I charged extra fees, right? Yeah. Got it. So simple. This is, this should be easy for you at this point, guys. Luis Ernesto, you're very quiet lately too. Did the warranty cover the cost of the repairs? We think about um, the warranty. Mm -hmm. Let's say it was a woman. Uh-huh. Um, us. Mm -hmm. If the party could <laughs> be. <laughs> Uh, yes. Oh, I don't remember the participle. Have covered. covered. Uh, <laughs> covered. Okay. Got it. You got it. Okay. Just remember when you do this, when you do reporting speech, it's not a question anymore. You're just reporting what happened. What you're just reporting what someone asked. So it's not a question anymore. Okay, you're narrating, you're narrating basically what happened. You got it? You got it. Okay, simple. Let's keep it simple. Let's go. So tonight, ugh, a, lot of, a lot of letters. Okay, so tonight we have to understand something. We have to talk about um, what we said yesterday, you know, issues when you ship, when you buy online. Okay, yes, yes, Oh my God, guys, please turn off your microphones unless you're going to speak, okay? That sounded like Wichito. Okay. Let's continue. Si pota para el micrófono, hombre. Okay. Let's go. I have a little exercise for you in groups. You will be splitted in, um, I said six, I think. Yeah, six groups, very small groups. So one of you will have to describe each topic. It's a total of six. You have quality issues, delivery and logistics, digital payment failures, oh, okay, additional charges, unclear return and warranty policies, lack of security. How many? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it's six elements. So let me split the class first and let you know who's gonna be in which group and what's gonna be your topic. Let me see if this is fair enough. Here, winter, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, this sounds fair enough. Okay, group number one. Andres, Edwin, Fredis, Glenda, and Suleima. I repeat, Andres, Edwin, Fredis, Glenda, and Suleima. Your topic is quality issues. Quality issues. It's on your WhatsApp right now. There you go. Quality issues is the first topic. Okay, group number two. Doris, Erika, Fernando, Irene. Again, Doris, Erika, Fernando, and Irene. Your topic will be number two. Delivery and logistics. Delivery and logistics. Group number three. Luis, Thelma, William, and Jessica. Luis, Thelma, William, and Jessica. Your topic is digital payment failures. Digital payment failures. Group number four, Blanca, Irwin, Jarvin, and Roberto. Blanca, Irwin, Jarvin, and Roberto. Your topic will be Additional charges, additional charges. Group number five, Amos, Josue, Judy, and Sandra. Again, Amos, Josue, Judy, and Sandra. Unclear return and warranty policies. Unclear return and warranty policies. It's topic number five on the list unclear return and warranty policies. In group number six, Alexander, Francisco, Stefania, and Jocelyn. Alexander, Francisco, Stefania, and Jocelyn. Your topic is lack of security. It's not a presentation, it's just one of you giving the whole idea. What did you understand from your topic, okay? As usual, go ahead. Lack of security was the last group. Hi guys, good, good evening. Okay, good, good evening. evening. Uh, we have to go to the, to the WhatsApp, right? Yes. Okay. Hey guys, so your group number one, you should be studying uh, the first topic, which is quality, right? Yes. The biggest quality problem features. while buying things online is that you have no warranty of products quality and so on. Just read it, understand what's going on with it and just say it on your own words, you know, come up with your own ideas. These are issues that happen when you uh, buy online, you know. We have to reach as quarterly issues. 
Mm -hmm. Just quality issues, debate right now with your classmates. Hey, has that ever happened to you? Read the excerpt, read it together if you want. If you don't understand a word, just ask a classmate. Okay. Wow. Yes, entire that is third, no? That is there are cities and unable to shop online because not all, not all e-commerce sites provide delivery services to their locations. Well, okay. Okay, I don't know if you want to share your ideas. Uh, well, in my case, uh, I have experience uh, buying online and for example in my experience it has been of the third party services the this uh, the, the time how long your your products comes to to the country uh, sometimes the delivery tracking uh, isn't accurate because uh, for example when you buy from China and you you select free free shipping, for example. Uh, maybe you you uh, uh, you you can wait a month, and the, the information of the tracking is an update. So that is very difficult. But you you buy with free shipping, but but when you buy with a uh, third party logistic and you pay for it. Uh, you have uh, an uh, information more accurate. Um, you can track in your product and all the process when, the, when from the, the, the country that uh, we're sending until when the product come to, to your country and maybe your your house. And sometimes I think uh, the product uh, lo lose in the in the transit. I don't know. And for me, the the paragraph uh, is about the problems. Mm -hmm with a delivery paragraph yeah, but a para, a pa, paragraph in the for delivery in the in the rural areas and the uh, when the is a a bus my <laughs> Yes, yeah, some business businesses uh, don't deliver in some location because they consider these areas are uh, dangerous, I think. Um. For example, uh, they always ask if, uh, if we're do you live is a dangerous area before to schedule the the deliver the delivery i think this is a problem for here in here in el salvador too for example and uh, here in Sarana, uh, when you buy pizza or a pollo campero, etc. Mm -hmm. They ask to you uh, by phone, uh, where do you live? Oh, in that 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 area. So a pango. Oh, but, <laughs> yeah, but I don't have uh, I don't have service for this for this area because it's dangerous. And then we can go there. And then it's a problem for uh, in this country and the other countries. I think about talking about delivery but yeah. uh, in in this way i knew about i knew another way to to do business for example if you buy something on facebook 
da, 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 the entrepreneurs told you, tell you, but I'm going to deliver near to Metro Centro yeah. next Saturday <laughs> at eight o'clock or at 8 a.m., for example, and then you go to 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 get to that, that to receive your, your product and and then this is another kind of another way to do business uh, yes about um online online business yes and maybe uh, it's a way to to save money because you don't have to pay the Delivery. The, the delivery, yes. yes. Because sometimes they they charge three dollars, three more dollars in the price of the product. If you want to to be delivering in Okay. This is group number three. Digital payment failures. Right? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> well, uh, yes, we yes. only need to read or we need to do another thing. Yeah. So other than reading, you have to discuss in group what have you understood about digital digital payment mm -hmm. digital payment failures uh, i mean remember we're studying common issues that you experience as a customer when you place an order online right okay and then you have to decide who is going to um who's gonna present in front of the class you know who's going to give the main ideas to the class okay Okay, okay. We have seven minutes. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. You have uh, you have to pro you have to pay a little bit more? Yeah. You have an additional charge. Yeah. Yeah, because well, you have to pay for the food, but you have to pay for the delivery too. And sometimes it costs um one dollar and 99 cents but sometimes i saw that that it cost three dollars with 99 cents so i don't know how how is the cost how much is the cost to use that and, app and the cost is depend where do you buy the store and the in your house or how what how they do the the, the additional chart i don't know i don't know because well or, or uh, it's the same they they don't they doesn't no they don't come to my my neighbor because it's too dangerous my so, neighborhood <laughs> i don't know it, my neighborhood, yeah, it's sad. The almost all the apps that have the delivery service uh, don't came to my neighborhood. Run that, run that by me again. Okay. Almost all the apps don't came don't go don't i don't know present present don't, don't don't come to my neighborhood perfect <laughs> okay 
I have to reformulate all the, the sentence. Just think twice. <laughs> think twice. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we we are talking about that that I had an experience with with eBay. With eBay? Because I, I bought a lot of yeah, eBay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I, I bought a lot of albums of K pop, right? Of K pop. Because I bought a so lot of because I bought a, I bought a lot of albums of K pop. Uh, Korean music. Really? You buy albums for of Korean music? I love it. I'm I'm thinking about uh getting my own collection i don't know if you can see this at the top <laughs> let me see if you can you see that ah yeah you know a what guitar. is that no the next to the guitar i don't know what is that <laughs> oh i, I love the connection wait that's that's my collection of albums <laughs> i have a lot oh, it's your albums <laughs> connection no yeah. I'm, think, I'm thinking about buying records from Pearl. yeah i'm actually get the collection <laughs> Wow. I had fun. I had fun too. Funko Pops. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm very obsessed with that with that kind of thing. So you are oh how can you call these people? <laughs> a compulsive, a compulsive. No, no, you are <laughs> no, there's a name of for for people who love Korean stuff. K popper. I can't remember. <laughs> K popper. No, no, no. There's we oh, no, there's another way of saying it. I can remember. K pop lover? Mm -mm. It's oh. a term. It's a term. Uh, well, I, I I called me K -popper. I call I call myself. I called myself. I called myself K poker. I'll tell you later, okay? Okay. So you're re <laughs> you're ready? Who's going to present in front of the class? Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. Well, <laughs> I already, I already told you the story. You can, you can present that. <laughs> you can talk about that. Okay, I'm going to talk about my collection of K-pop. <laughs> yes. My cap, my K-pop merch. Okay, so you're group number four, right? Okay, yeah, go with group number five, and we're almost done. Hurry up. Okay. This is a problem, uh, mm -hmm. normal in, in, in the shopping in online. In my case, it's a, it's a bad experience. In, in my case, in my case, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you have unclear return and warranty policies, right? Right. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. We're, we're almost done. Okay, guys, you have lack of security, right? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's take it back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, before we go any farther, I'm just going to do the attendance once everybody's back. What? We're 25, 26. Wow. Ooh, everybody's here. Let's see. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Wait, please turn on your camera right now. It's very important for you to have your face showing to the camera because this is the part that they mostly will out it later. Okay, Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. 
Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Hey, by the way, Fernando, we're staying 10 minutes, okay? Yay. Okay. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Okay. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present, teacher. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Mañorellana, Zuleima Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Bien, ya que están todos acá, bueno, voy a tomar el atrevimiento de robarles no más de tres minutos de su tiempo y animarlos a que no falten. Si han faltado algún día, pues ya no lo hagan, porfa. Pónganse la meta de perfeccionar su inglés este mes, ¿por qué no? ¿Qué tal si por una vez en tu vida permitís que te dé un dolor de cabeza de tanto insistir en hacer algo? ¿Sabes? Yo creo que les conté que tengo un carro de 1978, que ayer se me quebró un silbín. Todos los días estoy trabajando en él. Hoy me duelen las manos, tengo hinchadas las manos de tanto estar con la pulidora ahí cepillando la, la lata, quitándole el óxido. Y pensando en ello, me decía, ¿valdrá la pena todo este esfuerzo que estoy haciendo? Y solo me acordé de cuando manejo ese carro. Pongo la música, me gusta escuchar a Journey. De hecho, ya pensé en hacer una calcamonía de Journey. Telma ama Journey también. Si no saben qué grupo de musicales es ese, no son mis amigos. <risa> eso eso es, es como, como lo que me da la vida después de dar clases de inglés y ver a mis estudiantes felices cuando pronuncian bien, cuando ya avanzan. Eso, eso es lo que a mí me llena en la vida. Eso lo descubrí desde que di mi servicio social en la universidad una vez. Fuimos a Comasagua y llevamos muchos, muchos víveres, juguetes con mis compañeros de la universidad y vi la cara de un niño feliz y se me antojó dar una clase en ese momento y reuní un grupo de niños, me puse a jugar con ellos y ellos felices de la vida. O sea, emocionadísimos porque estaba aprendiendo inglés jugando, o sea, otro rollo. Lo que te quiero decir es, pensé, vale la pena. Y me acordé de eso, de mi satisfacción personal, de que realmente es un sueño tener ya a mi manera realmente he eh, hecho eso y poder andar tranquilo eh, y me puse a pensar ¿y por qué tengo este carro al final? es una lección que le quiero dejar a mis hijos o sea, uno, solo quien sabe lo que vale este va a valorar eso es lo que quiere decir un carro viejito solo quien sabe lo que vale este va a valorar como persona y dos, cuando haces algo no lo dejes tirado la perseverancia o sea si te metes en algo, no te quites hasta que lo termines. Eso es un problema que siempre he tenido desde pequeño. Me pongo a hacer la limpieza en la casa y sé que tengo toda la noche para hacerlo. Me desvelo. Prefiero desvelarme y quedarme hasta las 3 de la mañana limpiando, lavando, lo que sea, para el día siguiente estar tranquilo. Eso hago usualmente los sábados. Ya me acuesto agotado y ya me puedo levantar tarde el día siguiente. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, ese tipo de, de manías, ese soy yo, pero quiero que agarres eso. Empezaste esto no lo sueltes, y no lo sueltes, hacelo lo mejor que puedas, cuando tenía 10 años escribí una letanía, porque mi abuela me molestaba con eso, y cómo era, a mí me encanta el número 10, quienes me conocen ya sabrán esto que voy a decir, porque ya se los he dicho de seguro al inicio de alguna clase, siempre lo hago al inicio de una clase, el 10 para mí no, re bueno, representa la perfección, pero qué es la perfección, la perfección es una ilusión. 
eh, que siempre, que vale la pena perseguir. La perfección es una ilusión que vale la pena perseguir, tomando en cuenta que es una ilusión, para no de decepcionarte. ¿Ok? Perfection is an illusion that words pursuing. Ok, that's it. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando traté de ser perfecto, si es cierto, perfecto solo Dios, pero si tú haces tu máximo esfuerzo por ser perfecto, aunque sabes que nunca lo vas a hacer, vas a haber dado lo mejor de vos. Entonces no te vas a decepcionar, sino que vas a decir, puya, lo intenté, lo intenté, por lo menos, algo logré. ¿Ya? ¿Vas a aprender al 100% a hablar inglés? Ni yo hablo inglés al 100%, ¿sabes? Y llevo 18 años, me trae, no, ¿cuánto tengo? Tengo 40 años, menos 100, 33 años, güey, perdón, hablando inglés, imagínate. Y todavía hay palabras técnicas, o sea, es lógico, no soy americano, no vivo en suelo americano, en teoría, virtualmente sí, ¿verdad? todos los días hablo inglés, pero así es la cosa. ¿Ok? Entonces, ánimo ánimo, no tires la toalla tenés alguien con quien hablar, me encanta que Yuri me cuenta que sus hijas hablan mejor que él en inglés <ríe> y la historia es bien es bien, bien um, irónica, no sé, bien extraña que las hijas aprendieron por su propia cuenta y ahí van y de repente las, las hijas le empezaron a enseñar a él o sea, como, wow <ríe> entonces, tenés alguien con quien hablar aprovecha, decile mira, lo siento, pero te voy a explotar, chao Okay, let's move it on. Who's gonna be first? Who's gonna be first? Give me your thoughts about the part that was that belonged to your group. Well, in our group, we have we talked about lack of security. Um, that's a good topic because this is a topic about how e-commerce could improve or enhance their security measures, you know, because if they are not able to enhance or fix these kind of issues, they could lose, lose Uh, customers loyalty because if you are not sure about some pages what pages you are not going to buy in that web page anymore in your life or if you got or get bad experience and yeah you actually you actually are going to looking for look for uh the most common web page like for example amazon yeah in yeah it's like the the biggest or yeah the bigger web page or brand always win yeah okay good page Page. Yeah. page, web page, web page, web page, 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 mm -hmm. not, not so, so long, Shh. Uh, page, page, you got it, brand or brand, brand, <laughs> come on, okay, good job, okay, any questions guys, did you understand, did you understand, Alexander is right. I mean, that's like the most important thing. Security. It's the major problem when you buy online. The first thing that you think is like, man, am I going to get my card compromised? Should I use PayPal or something? True, right? Okay. Who's next, Alexander? And... Just give me a number between one and five. Four. Okay, group number four, Blanca, Irwin, Jarvin, and Roberto. Where we did you? 
<laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Additional charges. Hello. We are going to talk about, uh, we are going to talk about additional charges. Um, first of all, we want to tell you uh, what, what it means uh, the additional charges. And the example that, that showed you the article is the how many times it happens that when you buy when you bought when you bought a a, a product and, and you are almost uh, click the 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 button that you're going to to make the order uh, it shows you the, the, the website that an additional shipping is charged uh, with, with the item. And you didn't notice uh, before you, you, buy, you buy the product. I don't know if it happens to you once or twice or, 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 or I don't know how to say, always? I don't know. Well, we are talking about in the group, on the group, in the group, that it happens to me once. And it was that that we well, first of all, I love to to buy mer K-pop merch. And it happened that a group of persons, 10 persons, uh, 10, 10 people. Uh, decide to buy one album so it was 10 albums when we made the the purchase uh, the ebay told us to have to pay ten dollars with 99 cents and we are really happy because that was a low shipping cost and when we ask for the for the seller to send the the product he told us that the the charge of shipping was too low for the country and we have to pay more than that we have to pay 10 dollars with 99 cents for each album and we we don't have to we we'll, we don't know in, at that moment. Uh, what can I? What can we do? Or what can we did in that time? I don't know. Um, I told uh, I I make a deal. I made a deal with the seller that we that that wasn't our fault. And if they have to put us that advising, I don't know. And he told us that that only paid one, one shipping, shipping cost additional. Uh, it means that we have to pay $10 with 99 cents. Uh, but once, I don't know if I'm, if I'm, it, it makes sense to you because I'm, I'm really confused to what I'm talking about, but I understand what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, okay so this we one, have to pay. This is additional charges, right? Yeah, it was an additional charges, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we talk about uh, Hugo too, Hugo and, and Uber Eats that they make an additional charges when they put a, coupons or something like that if you don't read the the conditions of the coupon so you have to read really Excellent. well okay okay let's go through this together oh. i'm gonna paste it here on the chat some chat 
the more you talk, the more areas of improvement I can find on you. So good job, good job. That's very important. Don't stop talking. Some of you, uh, well, a few of you, I have recommended you before to look on YouTube for a video called Jam. The Jam Technique. Jam Technique. What is the meaning of Jam? Just a minute. Just a minute, jam, the jam technique, just a minute. It's about 18 minutes, I think, is a video. It's a Hindu guy, little chubby. He's ta he talks about how to perform this technique. Go in front of the mirror, talk to yourself for a minute, set a timer, just follow the instructions step by step. But the most important thing which is missing on this technique, on that video, is to record yourself. Record yourself with the cell phone. Listen to yourself after you record it for a minute and identify your areas of improvement. That's important. Okay. That shows you the article when you bought a product. Okay. The article talks about when you bought a product and you almost click the bottom to finish. When you buy, you're generalizing. So when you generalize, you speak in present. Okay? When you generalize, you speak in present. Okay. When you buy a product and you almost click the bottom to finish, you almost click on the, what will it be? What bottom is it? On finish, you almost click on finish order or purchase on the purchase button okay good you could also say i don't know if it you were saying i don't know if it had happened to you once or twice or i don't know always so y esto es muy importante se lo puede decir en español se los he dicho varios escúchense qué está diciendo hay otra manera de decirlo ya a este nivel intermedio 5 ustedes tienen que Escucharse y decirse a sí mismo, incluso en español, decirte, se puede decir esto de otra manera. Podría decir esto de otra manera. ¿Cómo podría decir esto? Ya, yeah. so the same in English. Listen, listen to this. I don't know if it happened to you once or twice, or I don't know, always. So, I don't know if it has ever happened to you. That's one form. If you've been through this, I don't know if you've been through this before. I don't know if you've been through this. Y lo más natural, preguntar, ¿estás narrando? So, when you go and you make a purchase, you know, and, and almost at the end, you're about to click the purchase button and then, boom, you get additional charges and you didn't even notice. Been there? Been there? Okay. Or you can say, does that ring any bell? Does that ring any bell? Like that. Does that ring any bell you know the meaning of this right yeah that ring any bell okay good so it's just phrases be natural when you're speaking got it got it like that okay we don't know at that moment what can we did in that time we didn't know what to do we didn't know what to do ah the thing is that we didn't know what to do Okay. One shipping cost additional. Y eso les está pasando mucho de ustedes. ¿Qué está mal en esta oración? Estás agregando. Dice, Perdón que hable español, pero quiero corregir esto de un solo porque todo les está pasando. A todos. Aquí no hay excepción. One additional shipping cost. ¿Por qué? Additional es el adjetivo y califica al tipo de costo, ¿no? Additional y shipping. Están calificando a costos, ¿sí o no? Ya. Yeah. One additional um, exaggerated shipping cost. One additional exaggerated international shipping cost. For adjectives qualifying cost. Remember, everything that qualifies the noun was before. Okay. 
they make an additional charges, they make an additional charge, or they make additional charges. Good. This goes for everybody. Study, study. Get better every day. Blanca, who's next? Oh, the number between one, two, three, or five. 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 Who's number five? Amos, Josue, and Sandra. Me too. Hey, oh, you read this. Yeah. Yes. It's about unclear return and warranty policies. This is really common when you buy something on internet. Uh, for example, when you buy on in Amazon, uh, the sellers sometimes they don't clarify what is going to be the the warranty that the product that you are going to buy, or if you are going to 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 wait to return that product. I remember when I bought a, a little camera and I received with damage and I wrote many messages at the seller and that guy didn't respond to me and at the end I felt I felt frustrated and I decide to to rate and we wrote a comment a really bad comment. And when the seller received, when the seller read this message, decide to roll me and respond to me, did you change that rating? And I I can send you other product. But at that moment I I didn't want anything. And at the end, when I saw the seller, they they lost a lot of opportunities with other clients because my message damaged the reput reputation of that that seller. That way, when you buy a product, is really really important. Read the comments on on internet about that seller or the rating rating that the seller has because that is going to help you because when you buy something on internet, the warranty is really, really important. When you buy a product on with a, a big seller, you maybe they are going to respond you better than a, a, a little seller. That's it. Excellent. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, Judy, 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 Judy. Okay, let's see. So, Jerry, what is going to be the warranty that the product that you are going to buy? Uh, one more area of improvement for everybody that. Um, a ver, quiero que aterricemos algo. A todos nos está pasando este tipo de áreas de oportunidad porque estamos pensando en español para hablar inglés. Ese, esas conectores, el that, que, que, que. Ok, think about it. What is going to be the warranty? Many websites don't let you know what is going to be the warranty that the product you are buying or you are going to buy includes. So it wasn't necessary to say that again. Okay. And I received with damage. What is missing here, Jury? And I received with damage. The article, the problem. And I received, okay, first of all, received it. Second, it, it. And I received it with damage. And I received it with damage. And I received it, received it. I received it with damage and I received it damaged. Oh yeah, and I received it damaged in past. It will be the best. Okay, so we're forgetting small details. You have the speed, perfect, very good. But think more of the grammar and the articulation. For example, you say rot, rot. 
I wrote a review. I wrote, wrote a review. I wrote a review. I don't know. Wait. I wrote a review. I wrote a review. You're saying grow. Too strong. Too strong. Grow. Wrote. Wrote. Wrote or wrote a review. Wrote a review. Wrote a review. There's an article after wrote, so it sounds like wrote. Wrote a review. I wrote a review. Okay. And he wrote me back? No, he texted me back or he emailed me back. Good. He replied to me. He replied to me. It's very important. Read the comments. What are we missing? Yuri? It's very important. Mm -hmm. You cannot have two verbs together under the same grammar tense. So it's very important. To read the comments. To read the comments. I will say reviews. To read the reviews, to read the feedback. And this is the problem with buying with a little seller, with a small seller. Small sellers, online, small, what will it be? Small online businesses. Yeah, small retailers, small businesses. Small leaders. Huh? Small leaders. Oh, little. Uh, no, don't use little with businesses. Try to use small business. With small business, that's the most appropriate thing. That's the problem with buying with small business, you know, or with interpreters, with interpreters. I don't know, startups, startup companies as well. Okay. Who's next, Yuri? Number two. Number two is composed by Doris, Erika, Fernando, and Irene. Okay. Uh, our topic is delivery and logistics. No, just just delivery and logistics. That is, uh, well, we was we were talking about uh, the some issue that we we uh, we had with the delivery and logistic process when you purchase online. Uh, when you buy online, you, you can show uh, the, the method or the third party logistics that you want to, that you want to get your product to, to, your, to your country, for example. Uh, uh, you, are, you are buying a, a product and you have to choose if you want free shipping or you are you want a fast a faster delivery and that is that see, if you want a faster delivery you have to pay for it but uh, sometimes we we want the shipper the shipper thing so we, we choose for example free shipping and that means uh, you you your tracking will will be with the mail uh, national national mail of your country for example um uh, it's depend of the of the distance for example if you want you buy something for, from china uh, maybe if and it is free shipping maybe you have to to wait for three months but you don't have guarantee that the product will be at time and will 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 be in your home because the, the the product in the in the process maybe could 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 be lost so that is a, a very common issue and another another issue that we were talking uh, was uh, for example, when you have to return a product, uh, that is the, the, the same problem because uh, you you were waiting for three months, but the product uh, the product was broken. For example, you want to return your product, but how you have to you have to pay pay for return the product. 
and you have to wait a lot of a lot of time, maybe the same time, three months, for example, and you don't you, you don't have guarantee that the product will be in China and will be delivered to the to the seller. So that is a, a dangerous and you maybe you will lose your money. That is you may or, that's it. Good. Hey guys, help me whenever we're doing this. Okay, next, you can show us the part of logistics that you want. Mm. I heard, that's uh, what I heard. That's what I heard. There are party, there are party logistics. Oh, you can choose or show. Choose. Third party, oh. third, third party logistics that your, you want. Oh, your third party logistics, the TPL. Yes. That you want. Okay. That was the right way. Okay. Repeat buys. Buys. Mm -hmm. You're trying, you're saying weird that word, but boys, I don't know. Bo boys, boys. You're, buys, over, buys. you're overthinking. So okay. it sounds weird. It's buys, buys, buys. buys okay. You have to pay for it. For it. For, for it. Mm -hmm. This final sound. Yes. No, it's, it's pronoun, right? Okay. Eh, cuando Bye. este sujeto está como objeto, chicos, suena a it. No, it. Okay. It okay. sujeto, it objeto. Don't forget it. Thing, things, things. Remember? Things. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That's a thing. Okay. That's a thing. Okay. Thing, thing, things, things, things. Different between thinks, she thinks. Okay. And those are the things. Okay. Things. There you go. A little bit. It depends of. Y eso se los quiero recalcar a todos. Busquen maneras de decir esto. No es una área de oportunidad de Fernando, pero me recordó que muchos están diciendo, usando mucho esto. It depends of, you know, the it's distance. Up It's up to the distance. Um, this is, well, the shipping charge is related to the distance. Uh, it's relative okay. to the distance. It has to do with, it has to do with the distance, you know, etc. Repeat, warranty. 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 Excellent. Okay. Pay for returning. <laughs> Wait. Another issue that we were talking about. About. Ah, about. Uh huh. Be careful, guys. Another issue that we were talking the shipping method about is the shipping method about. No, no. Another issue that we were talking, okay. Pay for return the product. Uh, pay for returning the product. Returning, yes, yeah, ing. Just think about after, it every time. After preposition, yes. For something, that's right, for something. You got it, pay for this. Who's next? We're only missing group one and? Um, five, I think. Mm, no. no, one and three. Ah, okay. One. Okay. Andres, Fredis, Glenda, and Sulema. Okay. Uh, the topic of our group is the quality problems. And according to the reportage, um, we have uh, the break problem of buying online and is you don't have warranty of the quality of the product. Uh, for example, seller can tell you or tell, tell you, uh, excuse me, that the product is the best of the world, but you can try the product before buying them. So you have to trust uh, in, the, in the things that uh, that seller says about the product, 
the functions, and it's a bad uh, uh, buying products online because you have to trust in the sellers. And other problem is the fraudulent sellers who mislead customers to increase uh, their sales. And uh, other problem or common problem uh, to the customer is the issue of getting the correct size when you bought uh, clothes, when you bought um, uh, shoes, because sizes can vary from brand to brand or the type of the clothes, the type of the shoes, and you have to be careful uh, with the measures before buying because, uh, for example, if you are buying product from China or other countries, it is uh, very difficult when you, uh, for example, receive the product, uh, you can't um, make um, uh, return the product because it's so expensive, maybe uh, you can, or you have to pay a lot of, to uh, send the, the product to the sellers and it's um, lost, you can lose your money uh, if you don't have the careful to read the measures uh, the table of measure of the seller have in the, in the store. And another problem that we found is the fake reviews. Maybe you can read the reviews and the reviews are really good, but when you buy the product and you receive them, uh, you, you realize that the product is uh, with a very bad quality. And that's it. Perfect. Thank you. Man, do you, do you have, I have seen your improvement after five months. And many of you, I have seen your improvement, guys. I can tell. Okay. According to the reportage, um, I think you were trying to say according to, what is it? According to the excerpt sounds weird but that's what it is to the excerpt to the what is it article according to the article you can say quality or you can say quality i'm an american will say quality uh, you can buy the product before trying them you can buy the products before trying them them okay before trying it if it is singular, before trying them, plural. Other problem, another problem to the customer, for the customer. Another problem for the customer is mm -hmm, that ease was there. Another problem for the, for the customer is, oh, guys, the pronunciation of clothes, clothes, as simple as that, clothes. Do you have enough clothes? Okay. A cloth, a cloth, a piece of cloth. One, clothes in general. Okay. You can lose your money, you can lose, right? I can make the, this mistake as well. Okay. You can lose your money. If you don't have the careful to read, if you, how can I say this, guys? If you don't have the careful to read. If you don't read carefully. That's the most appropriate way, thank you. If you don't read carefully. If you're not careful enough. Yeah, if you don't read carefully, the use natural English. If you don't read the small letters, be careful with small letters. Okay, and that's it. We're missing 15 minutes. Uh, we're missing one group. Let's see, Amos, Josue, and Sandra. No, 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 that's number five. Hold on, jury talked. Which, which group are we missing, guys? Three? Number three. Luis, Thelma, William, and Jessica. 
Okay. Your topic was digital payment. Digital payment failures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, listen. If you make payments by any digital uh, wallet or or e bank, and suddenly you haven't uh, you haven't connection can be a headache, I guess, uh, because uh, you don't you don't know what's uh, target or not this payment, and um, is is a it's a problem because uh, uh, you don't know how how many days it takes the bank. Uh, to resolve, it can it can take up ten days probably. And Janari suggests us uh, and recommend checking your record of payment. This meaning checking every month your balance. Got it? That's it? Yes, yes, that's it. Thanks, teacher. Hmm. Okay, uh, do you have a connection? Can be a headache. Okay, let, let's paraphrase what Thelma said. Um, I will have started with, you know, it could be, it could be a headache. A headache. Um, if you lose connection while placing an order, I don't know, something like that. That was the idea, right? Um, how many days? You don't know how many days. You're talking about a probability, honey. So what would it be? What model would you use? How many, you don't know how many days? It might. It might take, will it take? Four. I said take up. I'm sorry. I I said take up. Is right. How many days take, take up. up the bank? Mm. Mm, no, no, that wouldn't be applicable here. Uh, it takes up to. Takes up to. To take up to. To take up to. Tomar hasta phrasal verb take up to it takes up to three days before i take a shower it takes up to three days for me to take a shower i'm lying okay i take a shower every day okay how you don't know how many days will will it take for the bank to resolve and this is there's something missing to resolve this issue when the transaction is on hold, right? Okay. Pronunciation, record. Okay, if you notice this session is being recorded. Be careful, record right now. We're recording, okay? You have to take care of your record, your record, your financial record, I don't know, a record, you know, on vinyl, um, on a cassette, a record, okay? But recording or record. Hey, record that, record this moment, record the class, record the teacher. Let's talk about your criminal records. <laughs> There's a difference, <laughs> okay? Everybody be careful, okay? 
Check in every month your balance is a good idea. Yeah, I don't know why I wrote that. I think pronunciation, check in every month. Oh, check in your balance every month. At the end, check in your balance every month. Um, I feel like Johnny Deep when I go like this, but anyways, uh, this frequency, the frequency, time frequency goes at the end. Checking your balance every month, every day, from time to time is a good idea. Okay. Good, 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 good. We have exactly seven minutes. So I'm just going to share with you the exercise that we have on page 18. Now that we have understood some more vocabulary related to issues that you can experience as a customer for online shopping, let's find, let's make sense to this. First of all, reliable. What is the meaning of reliable? I got on the tip of my tongue. I'm just going to uh, highlight some difficult words that I will consider 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 difficult words for you. Don't pay attention, okay? Ooh. Okay, uh huh. What's reliable seller? A seller you can trust with your purchases. Totally. Okay, a seller you can trust. That's number one. Okay, what's number two? Oh. What will be number two? Fake review. Positive or negative feedback about the product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe feedback and comments about the third party seller focused on molding experience. Buying experience. Buying experience, uh-huh. Mm. I think it's the fourth one because that say is paid for by brands or sellers. You know what? It means yes. that it's not real. It's not real. Someone's paying for that service, and it's true that that does happen. Fake mm -hmm. ratings. Test strategy so positive yeah. um, feedback and comments about three party seller focus on the buying experience okay yeah i'll buy that okay warranty i'm sorry warranty Formal, a formal, formal insurance. insurance. Formal assurance. The certain condition will be fulfilled related to product or service. Homework. What is the difference between warranty and warranty? And let me know if the book is right or wrong. Warranty and warranty. Uh huh. Faulty. Faulty. Working badly. Working badly or unreliably because of imperfections. 
check the pronunciation right now. And thus, and thus, number six is skeptical. 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 Okay. Good, let's see. Um, so, number one, reliable seller. A seller you can trust with your purchases, purchases, and who is consistently, consistently good in delivering quality of products, okay? Number two, fake review. Fake review. Positive or negative feedback about a product or service written or paid by brands or sellers. Totally, and that's fake review. Ratings is the opposite. Feedback and comments about third party seller focus on the buying experience. About a third party seller focus on the buying experience. Third party. Third party. Cada vez que traes una TH es una Z. Third party. Focused. This word. Don't say focus. Don't say focus. You say focus. Focus. In the past, focused. 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 Focused on buying experience. Focused on the buying experience. Okay. Four. Warranty. Warranty. A formal assurance that certain, certain assurance, assurance that certain conditions will be fulfilled, fulfilled relating to a product or service. Five, faulty, faulty, okay, faulty. Working badly or unreliably, unreliably because of imperfections, something is faulty, okay? If you ever feel faulty, you better tell your boss, hey, you know what, I'm going home. I don't feel fine. I'm faulty right now. Okay. I feel not reliable. I can trust myself right now. I'm okay. Okay. Skeptical. Skeptical. Not easily. Not easily. Not e not e not e not easily. Hmm. Not easily convinced. Convinced. Having doubts or reservations. Okay. Check the video, practice the pronunciation. You're an intermediate five now. So homework, what's the difference between warranty and warranty? Warranty and warranty. Thus, connectors, don't forget the connectors. I'm gonna do the attendance and I'm staying with Mr. Fernando tonight. Okay, wake up everybody, turn on your camera. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Good Irwin, night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Fernando Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Fredis Vladimir Cortés Present. López. Gareth Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present and good night. Good night. Eimos Alfredo García Aranadino. Present. Good night. Good night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present good night, teacher. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present good night. Good night. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present good night. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present good night. Good night. William Alexander Carolina. I'm sorry. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Good night. 
Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Irena Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Good night. Good night. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Careful. Good night. Take care. Okay, Mr. Google, how are you? I am a little tired, but I'm fine. It's the two of us. I don't know why. I think it's some medication that I'm taking right now. But yeah, I'm tired too. Hey, I need your help with something. Let me. <clears throat> I'll pay you $300. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. How does that sound? Then tell me what, what is. What, what do I have to do? <laughs> no, for, for example, I I have my work, but I I do some some job that like that. For example, maybe mm. I I I have a coworker and. Okay, exactly. That's my point. I need someone urgently. I mean, this is really urgent okay one minute <laughs> oh i misplaced it hold on um we need someone okay an automation qa engineer okay 80% English level, seven to 10 years of product testing environment. The, we need someone, if I understand this right, this person needs to be able to create um, formats to work with this type of recording where when we speak, it auto-generates subtitles. For example, automation and manual testing of APIs, APIs, yes. UI, database, and data pipelines. Data pi pipelines. Yes. Okay. I'll send you the information because there are two positions. The other one is for front end developer. Mm. Four years of experience using HTML, four years of experience with CSS, mm -hmm. JavaScript. Um, image editing capabilities like Photoshop, GIMP, Pixlr, or equivalent. I'll send you the details. Man, if you find someone, you will be doing me a great favor, and I will, of course, okay. help you. Help you in that sense. Send me the the information, and I will try to to speak for some coworkers, maybe, maybe one they of them. One of them speaks English. I think that's very important. That it's, is very important. It's not about speaking English. It's about knowing to read the messages, to program in English. Do you program in English or Spanish? The programming language are in English. All the programming language. All the programming languages? Are in English. Are in English. Yes. <laughs> oh. Why is it so difficult? Is that the reason why it is difficult to find someone no. on IT? What do you think? Uh, for in my experience, maybe the English is more difficult. It's more difficult to uh, find someone that uh, uh, speak English very well. And it's very common, but for, for, for in my experience, uh, I have... Uh, I had now uh, a lot of coworkers and the English was a difficult thing for us, but uh, the, the knowledge you, you can learn from internet. From, uh, the, from the internet. Uh -huh. From the internet or uh, the technologies, the programming, the new programming language that, that you need, but the English 
maybe for, in my case it's very it's, more, it's very difficult to learn or more difficult learn english to learn than, english. to learn in, english than, but when you speak but i mean when you see the programming language in english if it says ah, input output no no that, that um, is that is difficult because well, Mm -hmm. I have a lot of years of experience in that area. I have many years, many years. I have many years of experience in that area. I watched, I saw a video. I told you, right? Remember in the previous module, I, I watched a video on YouTube about this guy teaching programming. I mean, he was fat with a beard, <laughs> but he had an amazing desktop, a huge screen and a great chair, you know, a gaming chair. And he was like, okay, so now we're going to do this. And then you put that, this and that. That is a stereotype. That's that a is stereotype. it. Yes. This is because, stereotype. yes, uh, all the, the engineers, maybe when you imagine an engineer or something like that, you imagine that that picture. Your uh, picture, the, the, your picture. Yes picture someone uh, mm -hmm. see someone with a big computer three or two or three screens a big chair hamburger or the, <laughs> or the remainings of a hamburger next time yeah <laughs> it's true I, I just remembered carmen carmen from south park and if for for this job position the, the, uh, what is the range of, of the salary? I don't know. It is huge. I can tell you. It's big. Uh, maybe it's, big it's, it's at the call center. So it's. Yes, but. I will say it's, it's about 1,200. Maybe... It's about 1,200, something like that, or 1,000 at least. Uh, 1,000 for, for the two position or? No, each position. It's one. I have three positions actually. I have another job. Um, which is mostly weekends. It's just like four, six hours, you know. But that's that's not a, a fixed. That's not a fixed position. A neighbor is an engineer, and he started a business. And all you do is take care of the servers. Yes. Just stay, you know, awake. And if someone calls, you just pick up the phone and hey, what's up? Oh, okay, yeah, the router, the socket. Okay, so, let's check that socket. Okay, let's run diagnostics. Okay, that's yes. it. That is an important position because you have to be available 24 seven every day. If you home. have a fixed position, yes. But what I'm telling what I'm telling you is something else. And, and ah, I don't, okay. about that, I'm not so sure it's not so reliable. But the call center, yeah, I have two positions for the call center. Yeah. And it's the, just developing. Yes, but I think I think uh, the, the more difficult question, the more difficult uh, thing is, uh, for example, the salary is very important for us. See, you you don't reach my salary or how do you say superar? If you don't exceed, uh huh. See, if you don't exceed my 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 currently salary. My current salary, uh huh. But. We, we are talking about, for example, I don't move for for another uh, company if I don't to another company. Uh -huh. If I don't get, if, if I don't get uh, four hundred liquid from or what do you say monthly cuatro cientos dólares liquidos sin con descuento. Yeah, liquid. Uh, yeah, free of tax every month. Yes, because. That's, I, that's I can. cheap. That's cheap, Fernando. No, that, that is a, a, how do you say? That is a, a, a parameter. A, a parameter. parameter. A parameter. That is a parameter, but mm. for example, that is an example, but uh, I, I know with, with English. No, with English is. Yes, no. It's more, it's more money. For uh, sure. But At least I, twice what you're telling me. At least. Yes, I, I know, for example, uh, an iOS developer that, that I am in, in the United States, maybe you- Oh, uh, no, 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 but I'm talking here, here in, in yes, Salvador. Yes, but, but uh, uh, for example, 
well, I when I moved for the for the new company the, the last year, mm -hmm. I moved for the double of my salary, my okay. current salary in that in that time. Awesome. Sí, yes, uh, and for example, uh, that is that open opens me. Uh, for example, the, for the for the for the banks, <laughs> uh, I I am in a process for a bank loan for, for buying a house. That is yeah. Remember what I told you? Year. What I told you before? Just stay on one job, you know, until you get, you know, you qualify on the financials. Uh, the financial system and so I don't know. It's yes. six months, six months, I think. Hey, I I'll send you, I'll send you the information, okay? Okay. So you okay. can get me someone, I will really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Good, Good night. night.